have the winners for the Mona Lisa Me Arts Challenge. We have two student winners, Joshua Garcia and Lorena Serrano. <laughs> we also have some parent winners, Eloisa Magana and uh, Giovanna Gomez. Congratulations, parents. And our teacher winner belongs to Ms. Grierson. Yay. Congratulations to Badria San and Abraham Diaz. You're both honorable mentions in the Mona Lisa Challenge. Our students are, will be receiving Starbucks gift cards and one of these. Woo! Each of you gets one of these. Ooh, a kit. An art kit. Please visit Miss Prestonary's classroom on Monday, December 10th to collect your prize for the Mona Lisa Challenge. Stay tuned to hear about the next arts challenge. Hi Sierra Rangers, it's time for our next school-wide arts challenge. This time we're going to ask you to produce creative works through writing. So we have an awesome challenge called Poetry and Prose, which goes along with our SAUSD Literary Arts Contest. So this year, our theme is all about inspiration or inspire us. Inspiration. Inspiration is the key to showcase your creativity. Write a poem, write a song that friends will want to sing along. Enter the arts challenge to win a prize. This contest is for everyone, girls and guys. January 18th is when your poem is due. Just think, the winner could be you. That was awesome, Ms. Cronmiller. Thank you. So if you have a creative side and you love writing, you can create a short story, you can even create a, a story book, you can create a media piece, you can create a poem, anything that requires you to use language and words in creative ways to inspire us. And there's many things that can inspire you. You can be inspired by a piece of art, by music, by people, by relationships, by your family, by cultures, by anything that inspires you in your life. And then you can use that to inspire others. So we want you to participate. How do students learn more about this festival, Ms. Miller? If you want to know more, you can always stop by Ms. Park's room. She's in 6102 and you can grab a packet right outside her classroom door. Right, and you want to turn these in by January 18th, which doesn't give you too much time, so you probably want to spend the next couple of weeks and winter break to compose your amazing pieces. So make sure you submit them to me in room 6102 by January 18th. That's Friday, January 18th. And then the arts leadership team will be looking over all the submissions and we will help you submit. Uh, we will be submitting the first, second, and third place winners to the district by January 23rd and the winners will be able to participate in the uh, district-wide arts festival which comes up on February 7th. So I know we gave you a lot of dates but the only one that you really have to remember is January 18th and then we'll help you from there. And if you win at the district level, what do, what do students win if they get to that level? Okay, so first you win at Sierra. Awesome prizes at Sierra. When you move on to the district, you can win $100 if you're first place, $75 if you are second place, or $50 if you are third place. So you can almost win like double, triple the prizes 
is beyond Sierra. So think of ways that you can create an inspiration for us at Sierra and beyond. Right. So we're really excited to see all of your awesome submissions. So remember, poetry and prose, January 18th. Thank you, everyone.